So, I made a Tinder. We need to talk. Do you know what the guy just said? Okay, guys. So, cat's out of the bag. I am five foot one, five foot and a half, in between there. Just so you guys can get an idea, on a height chart, that's me all the way down there. And here's some other celebrities that make me feel better about myself because they're short too. The half matters, okay? I've been short my entire life. I've always loved fashion and I've always loved modeling. When I was in fifth grade, I remember, I forget what the project was, but everyone in our class had to write down their dream job. And I would write down model slash fashion designer. <laughs> my mom's 5'5", five five, my dad's 5'4". Yes, my mom is taller than my dad, but growing up I always thought I would just get my mom's jeans and at least be 5'5", five five, and maybe get my aunt's and uncle's jeans and be 5'8". But no, I'm smaller than my parents, way smaller than my aunt's and uncle's, and I'm 5 foot, and I just I stopped growing at 5'1". Five five I do feel like I've had to radically accept the fact that I'm short and I can't model, <laughs> which sucks. If you're five foot, like, girl, you need a reality check, you can't be a model. That's always what I thought. I used to grow up watching America's Next Top Model. still watch America's Next Top Model. I love the fact that they started bringing plus size models on the show, and I also love the fact that they started bringing guys on the show, but one thing they never did while the show was running was bring petite models, AKA short models. Just kidding, I just Googled and apparently they did bring some petite models on the show, but I just don't think they ever made it as big of a deal as when they brought the guys on the show. I just feel like it's just not talked about. That's what I was trying to say. If you know what I mean. We be looking for ourselves on there. Does clothing look better on tall people? Do us short people not look good in clothing? It bothers me that people in the fashion industry don't want a short girl wearing an outfit on the runway because automatically, by default, tall people look better in the clothing. And I've tried to find videos of, about this on YouTube to like see if there was anyone in my position or anyone I could relate to or someone I could gang up with and try to like change that. And no, I believe that if I wasn't five foot, I would be hardcore trying to do the Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid, Gigi Hadid route. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. So I have meet and greets and I meet you guys. And the first thing you guys say when you meet me is, oh my God, you're so small. Oh my God, you're so tiny. Oh my God, you're so short. First, when it started happening, I was like, what, you can't tell I'm short? But as it's been happening, I realized I must photograph tall or appear tall in video. Because that's like the number one comment I get when people meet me in person is, you're so much shorter than I thought. That gives me a little hope that maybe my modeling career isn't over before it ever started and maybe I actually might or could ever have a chance. I feel like in my videos, I always do an experiment or a prank. And in this video, I flew home my best friend who lives in LA. He's a photographer. Yeah, I'm that extra. I flew him home to go to New York City with me and try to actually make myself look six foot in photos. So that's what we're doing. We're actually gonna take pictures with the intent of making me look much taller than I am. We're going to be testing three things in this experiment. The first thing we're going to be doing is trying to make me tall with clothing in photos. Wearing vertical stripes. Wearing vertical stripes in your pants or your top or both just elongates, it creates the illusion. So I bought a vertical striped outfit to wear in my photos today. Also, high-waisted jeans. These babies are um, one of the things on the list, so I'm gonna do some photos in high-waisted jeans. A crop top. I'm actually wearing an entire outfit to make me look taller right now. Monochromatic. This is a concept that has been very big lately. You wear the same color shirt or top and the same color bottoms and maybe the same color jacket. You just you wear the same color. It's apparently a small bag makes you look taller. So we're gonna bring some of my small bags. Now, after I take these photos, I want to get strangers' opinions on how tall they think I am. I did have the idea of uploading these photos to a fake Tinder profile and having the guys guess my age in order to talk to me. I have two spaces in New York City rented and we're just gonna go have a photo shoot and then we're gonna test all this. Mike is on his way. My boyfriend Nate's on his way. We're gonna do this. Catch up with you guys. <laughs> We are on the way to the city.
So we are at the pier space that we rented in New York City. We got Nate, we got Mike, we got a ton of backdrops. Right now, we actually really kind of want to do like a Calvin Kleiny, black and white, simplistic photo. That's not a reason to be in it. Get in there. I know he acts like my biggest hater, but he loves me. You can just see it in my neck. Oh, come on. We kind of, we are haters to each other, it's weird. We call each other out. For this part of the, the video, we're gonna be doing angles. So, angles are very important in photos to make you look tall. I mean, for looking taller, you definitely wanna go lower. Um, it elongates your legs, and it just looks really nice and definitely makes you look tall. Higher up angles will kind of like make your head bigger and make your legs look stumpy. Mm -hmm. So that will definitely not make you look taller. AKA all my pictures in high school when we were best friends, everyone would <laughs> yeah. angle down and I'd look like The MySpace, the MySpace angle. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try some angles from below. I'm not wearing anything that would make me look taller. This is purely a plain background, no shoes, no jewelry, no, I mean, subtle makeup. Just this is all about the angle and what angles can do. Anyone who's a photographer and wants to know what I'm using, um, my camera's a D7, Nikon D750, and I'm using a Tokina 16 to 28 uh, lens. You definitely look taller. Oh, I like those. How tall are you? Five feet? Five foot. You look five way foot. taller than five foot here. That's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Stop it, I hate my feet. The foot fetish people, click out of this. They're not, I'm not giving you what you want. Yes, legs for days. This is my prime, what we're about to do. I love laying poses, and I feel like whenever I do laying poses, I look tall, I don't know why. So we're gonna try this. Ooh, I like this angle right here. Nice. But I feel like if you lay sideways like this, you show, hey, I'm short as fuck. But if it's more forward and you're laying, it looks yeah. more. It's like it kind of creates like an S curve of the body, which makes it longer in a way. Oh. Like, oh, okay. Oh my god, I do not like look that. five foot. <gasps> right? Like your legs look so long then too. Okay, so Mike and I talked about the three poses that make you look really tall, and we named them for you guys to make this easier for when you want to do this yourself. Number one, Barbie, Barbie feet. feet. So how do you explain Barbie feet? Barbie feet is uh, something new that I actually discovered that uh, people have been doing, models, influencers, whatever. It's where you stand on the tip on your tippy toes to create that like Barbie doll effect, because their feet are always bent, and it'll <laughs> just really like elongate you. Pose two is the, the half, half eagle. eagle. This is a cringe name, but it's the only way we could explain it. This is a spread eagle pose. Oh, wait. <laughs> Do it with me, Mike. <laughs> spread eagle. Drop down and get Drop your Drop down. Off. This is a spread eagle. But the half eagle, you're standing and one leg is one leg spread out. out. Like a wing. It's like you're leaning on this side and then you're opening this leg. From a slightly lower angle, really makes you look tall. Yeah. Pose three is called the, the thought. thought. Because that's kind of what you're doing. You're you turn to the side, you pop a leg, and you lean, push your butt out a little bit, and it's, it's I don't know, it's just flattering and it'll, it'll elongate. <laughs> um, so what the, the reasoning for that is because when you extend a leg towards the camera, it'll kind of make a, a, an effect where when things are closer to the camera, they look a lot longer. So if you're kind of bringing your foot and your leg closer to the camera, it'll make your leg look a lot longer compared to the rest of your body, which is farther away. One one more tip that I would want to give is for posture. Like posture is essential because so if you have bad posture like me, you want to extend. And a good way to do that because some people I try to tell people to like you know extend your neck. They can't. They don't really understand. Like they'll like bring their shoulders up. A good way to do it is um, I learned this from Tyra Banks actually. It's um, imagine there's a string attached to the top of your head and someone is pulling you up by that string. And it'll like it'll just like bring your neck nice and long. And a long neck will really make you look taller. Look ready. Huge yeah, extend the neck, you'll look a lot taller. All right, so we are in this really cool Airbnb for the fashion testing parts. I'm actually wearing, this is my horizontal top, and I feel like it's already creating an illusion on camera. I'm wearing pointed toe shoes, because apparently this makes you look taller too. And we're doing full body photos. So 
we just had the biggest fail of an outfit. We're not going to talk about it, but insert footage. Oh. There's a fail outfit. Is it these? This outfit was very early 2000s, but it made me look very short. And I think it's because of the pants, but I'm still gonna use those photos for my Instagram because they were really cute, but they defeated the purpose. I didn't look tall in the outfit. It was not for me. Cause we, we have a goal here and I was not looking tall in those photos. Yeah. So this is my other outfit. I had a spare. These are my Versace high-waisted pants. I've never, never, ever owned pants this high-waisted. They're fun. I'm excited. And then I put in these heart earrings. We're having issues. First, we had issues with this 90s outfit, and the 90s outfit was just frumpy pants, and now we're having a problem where we have too much pattern on these pants to where it is not making me look long, and I actually just Googled, and it says avoid busy patterns. Oh, that's cute. That's like I'm fucking around. Well, literally. Yeah. These shoes were really effective. They made my legs look super long. Hello, awkward angle. This is my last look. This is monochromatic, and I got the pointed toes going, so we're gonna see if this works. We're gonna be shooting in this kitchen with checkerboard floor. Again with the pink, there's a lot of pink here. I don't know how I feel. I feel like my Instagram can handle some pink. I'm not a fan. So then we should be like this. Legs go against the non checkerboard. Yeah. Ooh. Wait. Like, <laughs> this is a funny angle on my vlog camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is hard. Hello. Hello. Oh my god, it's Nikki and Nate in a video? Mm. You're on my channel. Wow. He's never on my channel, never or hasn't on, been. I haven't been on this side in a while. So, here's the tea. We're actually sitting at my desk right now because this is some serious business. I <laughs> made a Tinder. <laughs> it's not every day you get to make a Tinder account with your boyfriend your, sitting next to you. Yeah, your current girlfriend. We're becoming a swinger couple. Mm, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Right. <laughs> Back up so your head's not cut off. You're a videographer, you should know your head should not be cut off in it's a okay. video. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, I made a Tinder because I feel like that this is the only way to test strangers to see if they can guess my height. Well, did you mention the fact that we did check your head online and it's not even right? Oh yeah, my height online apparently says I'm 5'6". Which is like definitely <laughs> Five inches more than it should Five be. or six inches more. With that being said, I made a Tinder because I feel like this is the only way to f get fair results. So right now, I have a fake name and it says Jesse. I'm gonna change my bio, what should I make it say? Let's play a game, guess my height. <laughs> that sounds like a flirting game. I have to like accept everybody. Yeah, so just swipe right Okay, right. so is it swipe right or swipe left? Uh, no, that's no. Wait, it's been... swipe right. Swipe right. Oh God, this is, I made a match. I ready, I ready made a match. <laughs> Wow. Jesus. I'm literally approving all these people. Who? What am I doing? Okay, did you see that guy's picture? It was literally him staring down at his phone. You couldn't even see his face. What? Man, give me the shit. What? Look at these profile pictures. It's like a parrot. You're accepting all of them? Whoa, it's a match. Ah! <laughs> He's a firefighter. Ah! <laughs> the first person got six foot one. That's crazy. Ah! It's working. Wanna really know? <laughs> He's typing. You were 5'6". Damn, I was close. Dude, he definitely went to Google, that guy who just said you were 5'6". Because that's what it says on Google. Oh my god, right. that guy said you're 5'6". This is so fun. I'm trolling these poor guys. They're just trying to get laid. Up or down at least. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> that's cheating. <laughs> He said, haha, well, with that attitude, I'm guessing you're shorter. The guy said 5'8". <laughs> A new guy. <laughs> this works. They think I'm an actual model. Is five, I guess 5'8 is really pretty short for most girls. I would say for a girl, is probably like 5'5". Five, five. Those angles work. <laughs> Ready? Uh -huh. And then tall, tall, 
tall. She's no wonder they're swiping right away. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I don't think there's one person in there who's not gonna not swipe on you. Why? Can you name it? <laughs> Get it? You seem petite, but you have very long legs. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> The power of a wide lens. My legs are the really long. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have very long legs? Five one. Okay, thanks. Bye. Next. Yeah, not nope. one of them gets short. Really, the no. shortest was what five. Oh. Six. <gasps> A guy said, I don't remember super liking you, but here we go. A guy I made a match with sent me a paragraph. He said, I don't remember super liking you, but here we go. All your pics are deceiving as to make guessing your height difficult. I like it. So I'm going to say 4'11". The picture with the heels is why. Your waist looks about as high as the countertops, which are always 36 inches high. Granted, you have heels, but I imagine the legs spreading apart negates them. So of the top of your... So of the top of your legs are at about 36 inches. And the ideal lower to upper body ratio is 1.4 longer legs to one shorter upper body. That leaves 25 or 26 inches for your upper body. What a so fucking robot. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Wow. Like, so I mean, he like he did the math. Like he was like, oh yeah, the ratio on the counter about 36 inches. Yeah, let's go ahead and add like another 20 there. Let's talk about it. put a lot of effort. <laughs> So 4'11 or five, 5 foot, that's my guess. I imagine your body ratio is 1.4 because who would hire a model without the ideal ratio? Why does everyone think models? Yes! Yes! Do you know what the guy just said? Why does everyone think models have to be tall? Who are you? And please become head of every modeling agency. Please. I'm gonna deactivate my account after we're done with this video, but I want you to also be in this ending part, not just to like can make you, you like sweat because I'm can on you Tinder. Do that photos now, so my friends don't get a Tinder notification from you, please. I do not want to have to explain that. <laughs> please. Okay. Um, no, but I wanted Nate here because he was a part of like the photo shoot. He was filming all of it, and he thought that this wasn't gonna work. And I want to show him that it worked. Well, that's the only thing I was afraid of, was like people comparing the size of things to you if you're standing too close to them in the photos, which exactly exactly what that one guy did. That guy, but, that response like, reminded me of something you would say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and comment down below if you guys want me to troll more people. This was so much fun. Say out, say an outro with me. We'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.